Chichen Itza, Mexico, August 2015. A sinkhole is discovered under the 1,000-year-old El Castillo Temple. Scientists, worried about the stability of the pyramid, begin extensive examinations of the site. While investigating, they discovered two nested structures contained within the confines of the pyramid. The pyramid at Chichen Itza is actually not one pyramid, but three. These are built like Russian dolls. They keep repeating the same design feature, the same construction method, the same unit of measure over time. So obviously something worked thousands of years ago, and they kept repeating it again and again and again, like a cookie cutter process. It is a pyramid that's inside of another pyramid. We also see this at the Great Pyramid of Cholula, one of the largest pyramids in the world, just outside of Mexico City. Also, we see this at Djoser's Pyramid in Saqqara in Egypt. So ancient peoples were, for some reason, rebuilding over and over again these ancient structures. Did the extraterrestrials who had designed these temples have a certain purpose in mind? Something that we still don't understand? If extraterrestrials were directing the building and rebuilding of these nested structures, as ancient astronaut theorists propose, does it suggest that over time there may have been a need for larger architecture? If so, could it be that they served a technological function? And much like the ancient constructions that fall within the ley lines of Europe, might the sacred sites found worldwide also connect to a larger blueprint? The origins of the idea of a world grid can be traced back to ancient Greece. Philosophers like Plato were very adamant that the ancient sacred places were specially positioned along the face of the earth in a very deliberate way, and they conformed to what was called a world grid. The temples were not placed haphazardly. They actually had a structure and purpose to them. In the 1960s, researcher Ivan T. Sanderson plotted out his own planetary grid based on Plato's work. Other world grid researchers would later build upon his model. What they identified was that there was a, a geometric pattern that could be superimposed on the Earth, and that grid point usually started at the Great Pyramid itself, and they would go out from there in a geometric form. Russian researchers did a full survey of all of the large stone structures that have ever been found all over the Earth. A total of 3,300 different stone structures. And they found that every single one of them was built right on one of the lines of this geometric pattern. On this grid, sites like Stonehenge in England, Megalis in West Africa, the Bermuda Triangle, pyramids in Mexico and in Peru, islands like Easter Island, the bizarre city of Nan Madal were also matching this grid. The specific power spots where we find pyramids and obelisks and other structures may have not been chosen just by chance. It could well be that they are part of an integrated whole and their location is highly, highly important. Some researchers speculate that ancient cultures around the world connected all of their temples to each other, almost like a master circuit board, where one temple connected to another temple connected to another added to the power of the structure, added to the power of the line itself. 